My name is Laura Berry, and I'm the Executive Director of the Interface Center on Corporate Responsibility. We have a small but mighty group of Jewish activists that work with us on a number of human rights issues. We are the folks who 40 years ago began the movement that ultimately helped um, the fall of apartheid in South Africa. Um, we're a coalition of investors, typically folks who use their positions as shareholders to encourage companies to behave in more just and sustainable ways. Back in the early 70s, we really refined the shareholder proposal. So what we do is we file uh, shareholder proposals, or otherwise known as proxy resolutions, for folks who are owning individual shares of stocks or participate in pension funds or mutual funds. We file resolutions on environmental, social, and governance issues. And that's our main activity. We also organize an awful lot of actions that are letter writing campaigns, ways to encourage companies to sign on with corporate codes of conduct, to follow international labor standards, and to more or less behave in more just and more sustainable ways. Sometimes greed gets in the way of the best choices in the corporate environment. And how do faith communities play a part? What, how is this a faith-based issue? Uh, many congregations, denominations, faith-based foundations, pension funds, hold a very, very large base of assets. In fact, our members represent somewhere north of 100 billion U.S. dollars in invested assets. And so as responsible asset owners, um, we feel very much that all faith communities are called to take a look at what they hold, take a look at how they create the profits to fund their missions and to ensure um, to ensure good retirements for, particularly for rabbis, for priests, for nuns, for um, ministers, for folks who are involved in the work of the organization, to think about how, uh, how their profits are made and to think about what it means to be an activist investor. And what would you like individuals to do? Um, we'd like individuals to first encourage their congregational leaders to participate as responsible investors. Second, we would like individuals to consider um, both as consumers and as investors in their own personal investments. We'd love for them to consider asking questions about what goes on at the companies that they invest in. And finally, we'd like individuals to really challenge the notion that there is a tension between justice and good investment returns. Our experience has been, and frankly, my belief is, that the Creator set up the system so that when we follow just and sustainable practices, we all benefit.